last week, I guess, was his uh, state funeral, very elaborate, but um, I think appropriate for a leader of a nation like ours and uh, in light of the service that he rendered to our country. Um, a lot of uh, stories came out last week about him, most of which I never heard. Um, but he was, uh, uh, evidently he was a man with a, with a, a great human touch uh, and uh, always concerned uh, about uh, uh, just the regular folks that he would come in, folks like us, that he would come in contact with and, you know, making a special effort uh, to know a little bit about them, things like that. Uh, he always uh, ma made sure to thank people for uh, gifts that they sent when he was president. He always thank everybody for stuff like that. One of the stories that came out, maybe you heard it, uh, about five years ago, uh, uh, the president, ex any ex-president, has a, sec uh, a secret service detail um, because there's a lot of crazy people out there, I guess. And uh, um, he had one, and he got to know these guys pretty good. They were about um, a dozen of them, Secret Service agents who, you know, round the clock covered. Uh, well, at one point, uh, one of the men uh, who were in the detail, um, his uh, two-year-old son was diagnosed with leukemia. And uh, as a result of that, he had uh, chemo, and uh, the little guy lost all his So uh, the guys in the Secret Service detail decided that uh, in solidarity with this little fellow, they would all get their heads shaved too. Um, and uh, unbeknownst to them, uh, until it actually happened, George Bush got his head shaved too. But uh, the, the, the really amazing part was that uh, the, the father of this boy, and they didn't get names of the, the, the agents the little boy's name was Patrick. They gave his first name. And he said uh, how impressed uh, all his fellow agents were um, with the fact that someone like George Bush, who had been president, uh, who had been <coughs> vice president, who had been the head of the CIA, uh, representative, and the least of, sir, and not the least of his service, he was a 19-year-old naval pilot who got shot down. Uh, uh, that he would do something like that uh, for the sake of this little kid. And I know when I read the story, I, it was, I was very much impressed uh, with that. And um, it made me think uh, that uh, what he did was more than just a nice thing. It was a very Christ-like thing that he did. And I, I, it made me think of some verses I was familiar with. Uh, and uh, I located them, and now uh, can't read without these. Right? Uh, this is from Philippians chapter 2. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, <clears throat> being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. And uh, I guess it's a tribute to uh, George Bush and the kind of man he was that he did that. Um, and I thought afterward, you know, the, the story about him shaving his head was very heartwarming. And it was very heartwarming. But what Jesus did was heart changing. And that's what we need to take from all this. That, um, what he did for us, uh, uh, there are no words to describe our thanks for him. Just the fact that he knows what's in each heart and, and we want to thank him. Let's pray. Father, we, uh, uh, we thank you for um, uh, this example of a president of our country who who didn't consider his lofty position uh, so high that he couldn't try to help a little kid. Uh, and, and, and 
How many times more was what Jesus did for us? That um, uh, Lord, he, he, he resided in heaven. Uh, he, he lived with you in heaven. He was uh, um, in, the, in the seat of all glory in heaven. But he said, now I, I'm going to help these people out. So, Lord, we're thankful beyond words for uh, Jesus. And, uh, and, Lord, we ask you uh, to bless this bread, uh, which we're going to partake of in his name. Amen. Amen.